Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank, and today we are checking out this iconic Spectromaster C700. This is a color temperature meter that allows us to accurately measure light in terms of its Kelvin color temperature. We're going to use a couple different scenarios today to see how this meter works and to get some consistent lighting results. The first one we're going to do here is I chosen this location by a window so we our key light is natural sunlight coming in and I'm going to use a tungsten lamp to supplement the fill side so to get started I'm going to make a measurement of the light coming through the window and that measurement is going to be uh, right now we're at 5,602 degrees Kelvin. 5,600 is recognized on cameras as a standard for daylight color temperature, but keep in mind that that is a standard and the sun is always moving, so we're always moving, so the color temperature varies during the course of a day. So at this point, I have a color temperature of 5,602. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set that as my target. One of the nice features on this meter is you can set different target values. And by setting a different target value, when I measure the fill light, the tungsten light, it will then tell me what the appropriate filter compensation on the light should be by different types of manufacturers. I can go by Roscoe, I can go by Lee, and it will tell me specific types of filters that I need to put onto the lighting instrument to make the color temperature consistent from key to fill. I turned on my uh, tungsten lamp here and you can see a definite difference in color temperature. So the first thing I did was I measured my uh, light source, my key, and I'm getting a Kelvin temperature of about 4700 at this point. So I'm now going to uh, show you a close up of how to set the new target. Then we're going to measure the tungsten and see what filtration we need to put onto the tungsten lamp to even these color temperatures out. So here is my uh, reading 4698. I'm going to call that 4700. I'm going to go to the target and I'm going to set it at 4700. Okay. And now you see my target has now been changed to 4700. And down here in brand, you can see that I could use Roscoe or I could use Lee filters. I'm going to stick with the Lee filters. Now I'm going to measure the tungsten. I've done my tungsten measurement and you can see that it is 38.55. It's telling me I need a 203 or a quarter CTB uh, to change and uh, level out the color temperatures. And here I have added my uh, blue CTB to the tungsten lamp. And as you can see, based on the calculations I made with my meter, I now have a more even color temperature from key to fill. I stepped onto the stage area in our sales room and you can feel free to come in here anytime we have these lights that I'm about to show you running all the time. So you can come in here and check them out. We have a dimmer board so you can change their color temperatures, you can change uh, to tungsten daylight, all the feature sets, uh, very easy to do. And so feel free to stop by and check them out. I want to use the different lighting instruments to use another feature set in the C700 and it's called multi-lights and as the name implies uh, when I put it in this mode it allows me to check uh, numerous different lighting instruments set to a common target color temperature and it will tell me where they are in terms of color temperature and if I need to make any types of compensation uh, to get them to a uniform color temperature. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go around the stage and I'm going to take uh, color readings. Let's see, I'll measure the the uh, Nyla light I have here. I've got a Aiden behind me, a punch, and off screen I've got a Felix that I have changed to a uh, tungsten instrument. Felix lights, like uh, lots of lights these days, have the ability to be either tungsten or daylight instruments. Uh, the Felix is hooked up to my dimmer board, so I can actually change that on the board. It also can change the hue. It's a really interesting and very easy, intuitive way to navigate through that light. So I'm going to 
check these out, take some measurements, and then we'll see what the results are. I took my three measurements, and now you can see in the top right-hand corner, there is a C. That is the third light that I measured. It has a color temperature of 2880 Kelvin. I'm going to close this out, and what that will do is it's going to ask me, do I want to save it as one of the lights in the series? I've saved it now, and now you can see A, B, and C. So I have uh, the Aiden, I have the Nyla, and I have the Felix that I set for tungsten. So you can see the respective color temperatures of each of those. Now, if I want to compare one light to the other in the series, let's say I want to compare uh, the Nyla and the Felix to the Aiden. Aiden was A, so I'm going to press this little activation right there, and now you can see what filter I would need for the other respective lights in order to get uh, consistent lighting. That wraps up my look at this Iconic C700, a color temp meter that allows us to work in all types of different lighting situations and to get us consistent, accurate results. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.